Hi there, I'm Ben Jones and you're watching Ducoscopy TV. China has seen a further slowdown in its annual GDP growth rate for the first quarter, which many analysts were expecting. Joining me on the line to discuss some of the reasons behind this is Duncan Innes Kerr from the Economist Intelligence Unit. So Duncan, the GDP data has come out at 7.4% for the first quarter, below the 7.5% target outlined. A lot of this is being put down to a fall in construction. What does this mean for China's growth target now? Well, I think the first thing to say is that the government's growth target was a little bit more vague than just 7.5%. What they said was around 7.5%, which gives them a good bit of leeway to come in a little bit below that. So we're actually expecting around 7.3% for the year, and I think the government will be very comfortable with that sort of growth rate. I think the other thing that's come out from the latest GDP data is that actually there's quite a lot of good news in there. If you look at the sort of the quarterly picture, it looks very weak. But if you look at the month by month picture, it's actually slightly more optimistic. There was an acceleration in industrial production between sort of March and the earlier couple of months. And we also saw a pickup in retail sales growth backed up by some acceleration in urban income growth. So I think people looking at these numbers will probably be able to take away quite a bit of good news from them. But as you said, the main reason for the slowdown was a slowdown on the investment growth side. And that's really what's dampening the overall figure. What do you think is causing the lack of construction? And is there anything that the People's Bank of China can do to change this? Well, if you look at uh, what's sort of going on within those, uh, those construction or investment figures, the main reason why they slowed down quite sharply was that uh, we've seen a real drop off in uh, real estate investment growth. And it's still rising, but it's just rising at a, a slower pace than it has done in the past. And I think actually the policymakers will probably be quite comfortable with that because if you look at what the sort of the main issues are in China at the moment, one of the big concerns is that there really is this glut of residential property coming onto the markets. And a slowdown in, in uh, real estate investment has really been long overdue. So actually, I think they'll probably be quite comfortable with that. And we will probably not see policymakers wanting to intervene too dramatically. Uh, indeed, the Premier has actually said that large sale stimulus is not needed at the moment. And finally, what else do you think the PBOC can do to spur on growth and try and reach the 7.5% target, especially considering on how reliant the nation is on investment? Yes, I think the central bank's already actually taken some measures. If we look at what happened with the interbank interest rate, which is really a, a sort of a measure of how much liquidity the authorities are, are willing to put into the, uh, the economy, that dropped quite significantly at the start of the first quarter. Now, that comes through with a bit of a time lag. So we will probably see uh, economic activity actually accelerating in the coming months as a result of the actions that have already been taken. Uh, on top of that, although the government has said that it doesn't want large-scale stimulus, there were some spending measures that were announced at the start of April, some more money going into railways, uh, more money going into social housing and so on. So that will provide a little bit of a further fillip that will help lift activity up. We probably won't see anything in the next couple of months on top of what's already been announced, but we would expect probably some more of these mini-stimulus measures uh, to come perhaps at the start of the, the third quarter. Duncan, thank you very much for joining me today. That's all from me for now, I'm afraid. But as usual, we'll have plenty more coming up for you, so stay tuned.